but the thing is still that we have ongoing heart palpitations in the physical body, we have real immune system malfunctions in the physical body, we have a pattern of ongoing sleep disturbance in the physical body, and all of these things damage a portal, damage a pillar, and we can really merge in so they can feel it's real and we're not trying to pull a fast one on them. And now asking those way up high guardian angels, what do we do now to heal the root causes of these symptoms and whatever they represent in such a way as to uh, stop the destruction in a fair and just way, which it does feel like directly aligns with the mission that you're interested in, so it's great. This seems like a really wonderful win-win-win. We just have to fix the parts of the car that have been damaged, and it's not a car. We keep saying it wrong because it's the spaceship. We have to fix the parts of the spaceship that have been damaged. And then it's like, instead of having to drive around in a dinky used car, you can fly in a spaceship. Which is a very useful thing, I think. And it feels like they're thinking about it, but it's possible we can reach up through the ceiling of that room in that higher dimension while really merging in so they can tell we're not making it up and reach up to their supervisors. No, and it really does feel like their supervisors might be so high that they're not terribly interested in the case, but they are interested in the case of those presences directly below them. And if the presences directly below them drag their feet in such a way that it damages their reputation or um, their productivity, then they're likely to take some kind of action there. So we can poke a hole up into that room almost just for the security of oversight. And now merging in, especially into that heart where the palpitations are. And this is maybe a good idea. All those way up high guardian angels who are responsible for the nature conservancy are looking through the files and weighing their options. What this feels like is there is a lot of wear and tear on the body from the intervening guardian angels responsible for the same organization. And probably what would be a good idea right now for those guardian angels, if you don't want the periscope to show those way up high presences, the wear and tear you've put on the machinery, it might be a good idea to do something, take some kind of action to reverse the wear and tear in such a way that it's actually able to be felt in the physical body. Otherwise, just through the normal periscoping actions, it's possible you're not going to come across very well to the really big guys who are up there in that meeting room looking through the files right now. So this might be a good time. And there's no judgment, there's no angry feelings, and you can feel the Lynn Life Collective isn't mad. There's no resentment, there's no anger in the body, in the life. Well, this would be a really good time to start to remove the wear and tear from the body if you don't want to um, come off as an abuser or an exploiter to the presences bigger than you, especially because karmic dumping is a reality, especially in organizations like yours where there's a clear chain of command. And I think it's likely that any 
kind of bad things that have happened on your watch is going to land on you, not on those big guys upstairs. I don't think any of them are going to say, no, why don't you give me that bad karma and I'll process it. I just, I just don't see that happening based on how other people react. So we're going to merge in really deeply, especially into that heart, because that's an easy mechanical feeling. There we go, and reaching up through this pillar associated with that organization. And I can hear you, a lot of presences saying, well, there are out-of-body presences and guardian angels affiliated with other organizations and other presences and they've done bad things too and I can feel that that's true but I can also feel that their fingerprints are on what they've done so I just don't think it's likely that the big guys responsible for you are going to pin that on you I think what's going to be pinned on you is what you did just based on the fingerprints not trying to be a know-it-all there, so really merging into the heart, really feeling that heart. And stretching that pillar way up through all those rooms until we can poke up to that way up high room. With those presences who had been looking for a periscope, or at least said they had been looking for a periscope, you know? And reaching the pillar up high enough that we can at least get through to their supervisors so there is a clear tunnel for the oversight. So here's a thought that hasn't been put on the table yet to those way up high guardian angels who are responsible for the nature conservancy who are still going over paperwork and talking about other options, it's possible that something you haven't been considering and really merging in so you can feel it's real in this density, it's something that maybe you haven't been considering is that there is another organization that it feels like you're very familiar with who does work quite similar to yours. It's the Sierra Club, and they have big guardian angels at your level and in all the intervening levels. And the Sierra Club has also expressed interest in the portal that's attached to this physical form, to the Lin Life Collective. And we know that because they've sent messages in through that body for presences, I think the lead human of that organization, the leader of that organization, has had messages land solidly in this physical body right here. More like right here. <laughs> That's true, they landed right, right here. here in this physical body. Thank you. But the point being that that means that those guardian angels for the Sierra Club are aware that this portal exists and also feel aware that it's a spaceship and not a car, feel aware that the capability is actually what it appears to be and you can feel in the merge. So maybe if you don't want this portal, maybe we can go to the Sierra Club Guardian Angels, and I mean it very sincerely, and ask them if they would like to use the portal. Because we've already shown you by sending up copies that the portal itself has a lot of awareness of proper organizational structure and conservation methods and useful patterns. There we go. I guess what I'm trying to say is that the Sierra Club might find uh, a lot of use for a presence that has so much conscious awareness and also supernatural energy reach and I use the term supernatural in reference to how it's just so much more 
than seems possible in this density. And the Sierra Club has already obviously expressed interest through physical symptom, and so if you don't want it, we can go to those angels, and maybe they'll be willing to repair the damage done to the spaceship, repair the damage done to the portal, repair the damage done to the actual physical body that houses the periscope. It's like a telescope housing, you know how the telescope is not terribly big, but there are the shells built around it. And we can take that to them, and maybe they'll be willing to repair it, and then they will have that resource, and you will not have it. And that's maybe something to think about. I feel motion in the room of the Nature Conservancy and a straightening of the pillar. But I also still feel the tachycardia in the heart when I merge in. I don't think the deal is done until at least the tachycardia goes away. I don't think it works like that. I think that's like how you would pay for the spaceship, is by taking away the damage so that it can function, so that you can have a working spaceship. You could try XR or 350.org or other environmental groups. Let's see if we can find the guardian angels responsible for 350.org, because that's, there's juice, there's interest there. And I can find that room, it's at that same way up high level. It's, they're not no. interested in direct conservation. That's Maybe Rainforest Alliance. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Merging in really deeply. We can feel uh, that group, the Rainforest Alliance, I think is their name. We can feel that group in that way up higher dimension room. And they feel like nice people. And so really merging in and really merging in so they can tell it's real. 